I'm sure what? that'll go down well and hard. No, no, no. Here's the thing. Get more realistic than the other. Tiger. First, you want a gold no, chain. Was... Hey, man, when I get on the show, no, I'm getting a gold, gold chain. chain. It was a diamond don't... chain. Oh, I got I'm it. Sorry. Now I want a tiger. Now I do want a tiger. Most yeah. men would say, I wish I had. No, Wait till you bring that tiger home tiger. to that sister you got there. Uh, and I ain't talking about my sister. No. Let's uh, <laughs> let's move on and talk some Kyle Allen. Who? Who? Exactly. Kyle Allen might be the Panthers starting quarterback this Sunday. That's because Cam Newton is still reportedly in a walking boot and will likely sit out this week's matchup against the Cardinals. Here's head coach Ron Rivera after continuously being asked about Cam's playing status. I'm not going to talk about it anymore, guys. I mean, let's talk about it, Arizona. I mean, I haven't really talked about Arizona, you know, so it'd be good to answer those kind of questions. We Cam, though. I know, you know it's I about Cam, but it, th that's, th you know, th we won't, I don't know anymore until tomorrow. So let's just, you know, let's talk about Arizona. If not, there's no reason for me to stand here. And you felt before the opener, you were 100% confident he was going to be ready to go. Where are you on that level now? I just asked you to ask me questions about somebody else. I'm not going to do this anymore, okay? I told you, I won't know anything until tomorrow, okay? okay? Thank you. I got to, I, I worked, I interviewed Ron Rivera when he was on the Eagle staff, one of the nicest guys. He was, mm -hmm. even in his like bout of frustration, he was still really nice about it. And it's tough. Who knows what you're going to get with Cam Newton? And he's been riddled with injuries so far the last stretch. What do you make of the latest setback now, Danny, for Cam? Uh, I think you're seeing the end of Cam Newton as a franchise quarterback. It's really coming to a close. And I think you can probably tie that in with Ron Rivera. As good as a guy he is, when you lose as many games, I think, was it nine out of the last 10 going yep. back to last? season um, the lack of success even with a Super Bowl appearance under your belt even with the success he had recently it's a what have you done for me lately but when it relates to cam specifically so I think you're seeing and what you saw in the uh, Thursday night game against Tampa Bay was you saw a quarterback who they were designing plays and I know the last play of the game when they pitched it to McCaffrey was controversial hey why don't you just give it to cam I think that was their offensive coordinator saying and their team saying we are not relying on Cam anymore as a runner because we can't threaten him. We can't put him out there. We can't subject him to those types of hits. If you take away that aspect of Cam's game, he is a very average to below average passing quarterback. And in today's game, you have to be able to stretch the field vertically and throw the football down the field. And tell me this. So if they're going to clear house, they're going to fire Ron Rivera, which I do think is going to happen. If you check the Vegas sports books, he is the leader in the clubhouse as far as which coach is going to get fired first. Usually lean on them. They usually type, uh, know these types of situations. And you're the Panthers. you got a young, you know, Christian McCaffrey's the face of that franchise now. Are you going to continue with this Cam Newton experiment? Or are you going to cut ties? And then if you cut ties with Cam Newton, do you envision either, A, another team paying him the type of starting quarterback money that he would command, or if they don't, would you expect Cam to go compete for a job? I don't. I think he is done as a franchise quarterback. Okay, Danny, I, I, I like your, your energy and everything, <laughs> all right? All right. All right. I, I, I'm not going to murder you okay. on, on national TV, but Cam Newton, after we've seen what we've seen in Nick Foles, and Sam Bradford and some of these other guys that have gone on for multiple chances of being a franchise quarterback, I don't know why you would doubt Cam Newton as far as his ability to move on. I could understand. I would listen to, oh, they got a new owner. They're trying to do new things there. Okay, I'm willing to listen to that. But to try to say that Cam Newton is not a franchise quarterback in the NFL when this is a foot injury with him trying to change his throwing motion that he can't get healthy after that second game there in New England. So I got to doubt you on that one, all right? Because I have seen quarterbacks continue, and I'll even go back to Randall Cunningham. Randall Cunningham in 1998, MVP of the league after coming out of retirement. Cam has more skill than him. So for me, these quarterbacks are playing longer and longer. These coaches are coaching them up better and better. It's easier to play in the pocket than ever before. And ultimately, when you lose your ability to run, that's the best time to teach a very, very athletic quarterback. Nick, you said it earlier in the show. When did Michael Vick get it? Well, after being out of football mm -hmm. and then going to Andy Reid and realizing I must do that. I believe that Cam has that. But this season is not the way to judge Cam Newton because when you hurt your feet, you can't make money with your feet being hurt in the NFL if you are a skilled player. So here's the thing that I, that I don't get because you're not the first person to say something similar to this. 
And obviously, you, you, listen, I listen to your radio show. You know, you cover and know all sports, but I think most people see Danny Cannell and they think your favorite's probably college football. Like, they associate you most with college football. And Paul Feinbaum's another college football guy, too. And the two most pessimistic people I've heard on the national stage about Cam are guys that I immediately associate with college football, which is odd to me because Cam Newton had one of the greatest seasons in college football history. Like, and I'm just curious why the margin of error we will give Cam is so much smaller than any quarterback I can remember. Let's just go over the last five years. 15, they win the MVP. He wins the MVP, they go to the Super Bowl. 2016, he had a really bad year. 2017, not long ago, they're 11 and five, and he is brilliant in a five-point playoff loss in New Orleans. Last year, they are six and two. He is having the best passing season of his career, a 101 rating, completing 67% of his passes, and T.J. Watt wrecks him. From that moment forward, that's since then. They've lost 9 of 10. Since then, he's been bad. He was injured at the end of last season, injured at the beginning of this season. Now we're like, okay, he's cooked. He's done in a league where we've got, look at this, uh, Gardner Minshew we're excited about because they're on their backup quarterback. And now, could the Panthers move on from him? Sure, just like the Panthers could move on from Ron Rivera. I think both those guys would instantly go to the top of the market for any team they should looking for a coach or a quarterback. Like, why do, what I, why do you think Cam, because he has a foot sprain, all of a sudden is not going to be able to run the football anymore? And why well, is what their play calling? That's what I'm going. But and are we hurt, forgetting? Though. Like all we've talked about is a foot sprain. Are we forgetting the the, the shoulder surgery? No. Like we haven't even mentioned that because I think we are in a new era of NFL. And maybe it's the awareness of because Andrew Luck did it because he hung it up. But you have multiple guys now that have made $100 million in the bank where that makes your decision a little bit different. And I think that has to come into play ooh, because ooh, I think ooh, I think ooh, somebody okay, will no, no, offer no, no. him Tell, an opportunity. Wait, wait but I don't know if Cam takes it. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I know how Cam was brought up. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't brought up like Andrew Luck. All right? Right. Andrew Luck brought up a lot like yourself. Yep. All right? I don't see guys brought up a little bit different than that quitting in the NFL. And Andrew Luck is no litmus test for guys who love football. All right? Right. Andrew Luck, how much does he really, really love football? When you start going back on it, how much really did he love football? And trying to paint Cam with the same brush as if he wouldn't want to maybe potentially go to Chicago or go somewhere else. I think that I think that is not fair to a guy that's been MVP of this league. We just watched Eli Manning the last five or six years start the season 0 and 2. Did nobody care? Did nobody care one bit? I guess because he'd been to two Super Bowls compared to Cam being one. Eli never had the season that Cam had in his MVP season. Do you think that Cam has one of the biggest egos in the NFL? Yeah. I do, I, right, so, because I think that comes into play. So, I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna look. So at ego going makes else. you retire. No, 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 hold on. I know. No, exactly. wait, 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 it might make wait. you pass on opportunity. He's, it might make you say, you know, I don't think I'm you not, know Cam well enough. I don't know Cam at all. Okay, I'm just going thank from you. What then you're just outside. Guessing. Right. Then you're just guessing. Hold on, right. Danny. But the point you're making is actually the the one point you said there is one I think I agree with, which is I do not see Cam Newton, who has been a superstar at every level. At the point where he gets to in his career, where it's like, we'll bring you in and let you compete. Right. I don't see him signing up for that. But I don't think he's anywhere close to that point in his career. I don't think can, there is there are not enough quality quarterbacks in this league that you that there's not gonna be a team that says, I would love to have Cam Newton. We are not far removed from the Glennon getting 15 million a year, Flynn getting 16 million, Nick Foles just got 20. Like there are in, Bradford got a Bradford got those were bad signings, though, just so we're clear. Okay. Like, I don't think those were great signings either. But even at those numbers, 15 to 20 range, you're going to have Dak getting 35. You've already got Russell Wilson making 35. You think Cam Newton's going to say, sure, I'll play for 20? And he might. He might. But I don't know. There's going to be so there's something about me that tells it. The sad part about all this is, and this is without knowing him, this is watching it from the outside. Okay. If he would just spend as much time on his craft as he did on his wardrobe, he could be the best player, the okay, most dominant Danny, quarterback in Danny, the league. Danny, that's extra. 
That's out of bounds. How a man dressed and everything had nothing to do with him throwing the ball. But you no, just, but, Danny, no, but watch. No, Danny, I'm gonna, I got homework Danny, for when, you. When, I have homework when, for you. He just released his own, he's doing a series with YouTube. It's Cam Unfiltered. It's eight minutes long. He, he released it after they were 0-2. Do you know what? It's an eight-minute thing. Do you know what? Three minutes of it are dedicated okay, to the that first has, three minutes to his wardrobe, which so he spends what? on his offseason. So on his Tuesday, That's he goes ridiculous. and meets with a stylist. Do you think Tom Brady or Drew Brees or any other yes. quarterback spends that much time yes in i think no. tom brady cares about how he looks no, no i think on, it's laid it. out for him hold on no i'm second. telling you what he goes out there and he danny, says while i'm preparing danny, for a game danny, i think been, about what danny colors we've I'm been playing wear, this what patterns we've I'm been wear. playing this game a hundred years cam newton gonna be the first guy to retire because his clothes are more important than playing football has he let ever, me just tell you something has his play just ever stop for a got better or just is he stop plateaued? for a second just stop for a second yes you said the number one thing i don't know him so everything you say after that is a guess I sat on a football field in Florida Stadium and saw a kid 17 years old with his dad, asked him, do you want a scholarship to the University of Florida? And he said, yes, I love football. I watched him lead the top recruits in the nation. They were playing music. All of them followed Cam around. So regardless of what you think, Cam is a leader. And I can guarantee you there is a locker room full of football players that would follow Cam Newton into battle. If you can follow Sam Bradford, if you can follow Eli Manning, if you can follow Nick Foles, you can follow Cam Newton. And, and everything else is just made up. And we How he's dressing and everything. What about A.B.? He spent a lot of time on his clothes uh, and everything. Real quick. He's no, not I, a quarterback. Hold on. You know oh, who is a oh, quarterback? Geez. Gardner Minshew. And everyone Everyone loves the disco outfit and the mustache. We can't decide that certain guys it's adorable and certain guys it's taken away from football. Gardner Minshew, the reason it's the men's show is not just because he played well, but because of how he carries himself, how he dresses. Then Cam Newton, the fact like Russell Westbrook, that they have an eclectic style of dress that might not be to your taste or your taste. I happen to love them. That does not change whether or not he can be. I a don't care either, but you said Tom Brady. Tom Brady has somebody Let laid out for him okay. and he does it. Uh, and Cam Newton's we're, we're gonna, watch the show. Watch the show. Much more first things first right after like, this. I don't want to do this now.